everyone, and, and welcome to this webinar on working with ER Studio and uh, the Oracle Cloud. Uh, my name is Anil Mahadev, and I'm a senior cloud architect here at IDERA. And with me is my esteemed colleague, Tim Rohn, who will be assisting with questions. So what are we going to discuss today? First and foremost is I'm just going to go to the cloud.oracle.com to explain the process of how we can get started. So the first and foremost is if we look at uh, the cloud.oracle.com, uh, it brings me to my logged in page. So here's where I can actually go in here and go under Oracle database and choose autonomous database. And this is where you can actually go ahead and create an autonomous database and it's free. Oracle offers this for free for up to two autonomous databases up to a storage of 20 gigs, which is more than sufficient here. So here I have a sample database that I have gone and spun up. It's actually a transaction processing database. And uh, there are more articles uh, online on how to get started on all this. My goal today is to actually show you how to make that connection. First and foremost is under the DB connection tab, once you have everything ready, you will have to do one of two things. One is you'll have to go and download the Oracle client, uh, 21C or higher. Uh, and then you have what is known as a, a wallet. So in this wallet, you can actually go in here and download it. And it'll ask you to provide you with a password. So you just enter the password. And once that is done, you would place the wallet, uh, you would extract the contents of that wallet and place it in your uh, Oracle client network so for example i'll show you here uh if i were to open up my oracle client here i can actually go to c drive app client my home and i can go under product 21c client network admin and this is where you'll need to paste all the information uh, once you have this your tns name start oracle file will contain all the necessary uh, 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 connection uh, string, if you will, uh, to have you access this. But what you will need to do is just to a, uh, open up a command prompt and using TNS ping, I'm just gonna ping one of the TNS entries. We'll be connecting to this one. So looks like everything is good. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up ER Studio. In ER Studio, you'll have to go to the Tools section and choose Reverse Engineer. Now in Reverse Engineer, here's where you can actually choose under Native Direct Connection, and you should be able to enter the uh, data source. Now this is usually the TNS entry, and here I'll go ahead and enter a password. And we'll give it a second. And once it's done, it comes in here. And if you're getting any kind of error saying that the OCI 32 lib.dll is missing, that means there's an issue with your Oracle client install. Make sure that you install the full admin client that you can find from the Oracle's website. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and uh, reboot your machine, and then come back and launch ER Studio, and you will not see that error. Here, uh, what we have is we have the owners list. Now in the owners list, what you can do is you can search and uh, click on the ellipse button and you can actually go to one of the sample uh, schemas that they ship with. So I like the shipping uh, schema and I can go ahead and bring maybe some user tables, user views, some triggers, stored procs, etc. And here you can see if there's any of those, you can find them, but looks like we just have the tables right now and we can go and highlight uh if the referential integrity is not declared in the database we can infer those so that's the benefit of using the new key foreign key areas and of course we can just go ahead and choose next or hit finish so what it's doing right now, it's actually going ahead and reverse engineering directly from the Oracle database uh, in the cloud. 
And this does not require any kind of administration. Everything is taken care of by Oracle. And uh, the best part is you can just focus on your awesome data model and let Oracle take care of the rest. So right now, depending upon your internet speed or anything like that, it could take a bit of time, but apart from that, it's pretty fast uh, most of the time. And once it's reverse engineered, it will go ahead and start acquiring the primary keys, all the indexes, et cetera. And just like that, you have your Oracle database data model from that schema, shipper schema, ready to go. Now, what we can do is we can also go ahead and explore the main of physical data model. As you can see, it brought the schema as well. I can double click on one of the tables. Just loading here. Let me make sure my, yeah, that's good. Um, there you go. So now you can see I have all of this here, all the metadata, everything is extracted, storage units, everything has been, been populated. It's pretty awesome. So now what else can we do? We can also go ahead and see if we can make any changes to it. So you can all, always go ahead and uh, let's say, for example, I can go ahead and uh, and create a, uh, a sample um, uh, table here. So here I can actually go ahead and uh, initialize my DB actions here. And it's going to go ahead and um, open up the online interface. And here I have the ability to go ahead and create any new tables or assign and run the queries. So what I'm about to do is actually go ahead and create a simple table here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and use our compare and merge uh, capability to see if there's anything that's changed from there. Apologies for the slow connection. I'm just running it through my VPN. Let me see here. Hey, now I'll just jump in real fast here uh, for the attendees make sure if you have any questions use the use that little questions pull out uh, particularly as it uh, pertains to connecting to the the Oracle cloud here or anything because that's really the topic of this uh, of this webinar yeah. want to make sure you get your questions answered awesome thank you Tim so anyway I'll uh, I'll go ahead and open up another tool that we have uh, here we have connected it to our tool, our database administration tool called Aqua Data Studio. Here you can see I'm going ahead and showing the connection here that we have, and that will help you to see how we can do it. So what I'll do now is under the SH schema, I'll right click on the table and then say create table. And here I'll just call it a and then here I'll just give it a column name. And I'll just create. Let me go into my admin section. So I will use it in this one. There we go. So now here I have a table and it's a client and I have a demo table here too. What I can do now is I can go back to your studio. Let's say I want to bring a table into this physical data model. I can use my compare and merge utility. And utilizing the same thing from the live database. And 
And here, what I'll do is I'll do the schema, the admin schema. So, like that. I'm not to just pull out these two tables. So I'll choose next. And there we go. So now here it shows you how you have the, the client from the database and here it's in the model. So what we'll do is we'll say merge it to current and hit finish. There we go. So now we'll go ahead and save this model. So now that we've got this, I'm going to go into my uh, repository. I'm going to go ahead and log on myself. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and add this diagram into the repository. Excellent. So now that it's in the repository, now the next thing we might want to do is to actually go ahead and and publish this into our flagship uh, metadata platform called Team Server. So let's uh, go ahead and do that here shortly. Excellent. So now I can actually come in here and uh, I'll just uh, say Team Server BI. That's actually going to go into my Team server. And here I can go under publish models. You notice I expand the data model diagrams. And here you can see I have a sample OCA model here. I'm going to choose that and hit publish. This will take a while. But in the meantime, any questions uh, uh, you folks have relating to how to connect? Uh, how to get the steps on, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through some of the steps on how you can sign up for Oracle Cloud uh, uh, that is getting done. So here, what I'll do is I'll, I'll sign out of my account first. Let me sign out here. So when you come in here, you can actually look at the cloud infrastructure here. So here you can actually go to cloud.oracle.com. And this is where you can actually go ahead and sign up for a new account. And here you can see that they have a free tier sign up. So they're giving you up to $300 for three days to use. And there are always some free services which include the autonomous database and object storage. You can actually go ahead and choose your country, your first name, last name, email, just verify that. They will ask you for a credit card just for identity purposes only. But apart from that, if you're within the, uh, the limit of the trial and if you just don't want to upgrade, you can always just stick with the always free essential services in order to do exactly what I have shown you folks today. So now let's go back to team server. Let's see how we're doing here. It's updating the search index. While it's doing that, let me show you here real quick on a typical uh, diagram that is published. I'll go ahead and show the projects. Here I'll choose my logical data model, for example. I'll choose the human resources schema. So this is how you can see it gets published. So here people can actually go in here and, and look at all the details. And let's see here, it should be done by now, almost. We'll come back here. 
Um, then what you can do is you can just double click on it. And uh, like, let me go back here. Um, let me see if I have, okay, there we go. So now it's published. So let me go to ER tools. Let me refresh the tree. And you should see my sample OCI model here. So let me go into the physical data model. Click on the eye icon. And there you go. This is exactly how it is in data architect like this. And now if I wanted to change the layout, I can go into the diagram, go into layout, just hierarchical and save it. And see if I can just go ahead and republish it and it should go ahead and give me the new model uh, layout. Now I can actually go ahead and double click on one of these. And it should give me all the list of information that is pertaining to uh, the country's table. So there you go, you can have the column, the definition, everything that's brought in. So there you go. So that was how easy it was, folks, to actually go ahead and, and connect to the Oracle database in the Oracle Cloud with VR Studio by performing a reverse engineering and also by uh, uh, showcasing how we can leverage the steer advantage. The last thing I would like to show you before we uh, close is using the macro section, you can also go ahead and generate an Excel spreadsheet with all of the diagrams metadata here. So here I'll just use a simple example and there you go. So now you have the table and the contents of this being generated for you. Pretty awesome. And last but not the least, you have the ability to generate reports, ad hoc reports. Uh, if you just want to do a once in a in a while, uh, once uh, uh, one at a time report for just the logical, and also get the metadata out of it, you can do that. Here I'll go and pick this. If you would like to have the most up to date changes in real time, then Team Server is how uh, you might want to look at it. So here I can go into my logical. Model image, there you go. I have a logical image. I click on that, get more of the metadata here and go from there. Well, with that, I would like to thank you for your time and uh, and look forward to the recording. And if you have any questions or feedback, please uh, do uh, reach out to us. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one demo, please uh, email sales at idera.com and we're more than happy to uh, give you a demonstration. I would like to thank you all for your attendance. And uh, everyone have a, a fantastic day. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.